In this video, you will learn how to switch between multiple cameras in Blender. Blender version 2.79 is being used while creating this video. Let's start by deleting everything. Press A key once or twice until everything is selected, and press X and enter to delete. Press 5 on number pad for orthographic view. Add some text by pressing Shift plus A, text. Zoom it in by mouse wheel up. Press tab to enter text editing mode. We are going to type object in this case. Press tab again to return back to object mode. Next expand this right side panel to unhide some of the features. And click on this text object data icon to open text settings. Come down here and set the extrude value 0.1 and press enter. Set the bevel depth value to 0.025. Now come over here and click on the set origin button and click on origin to geometry. Now press shift plus S keys on keyboard and click on selection to cursor. Next rotate this object on X axis by pressing R, X, 90 and enter. Press 3 on the number pad for the right side view. Next add in a camera by pressing shift plus A camera. Now press N to open properties panel. Come over here and change all the location and rotation values to 0. Then change the rotation value of X axis to 90 degrees. Zoom out little bit with mouse wheel down. Move this camera on the Y axis by dragging this green arrow about 2 grid line left. Make sure that this current frame number is set to 1. Now place your mouse cursor to the location area and press, I, key to add a keyframe. Now change this current frame number value to 30. Then move the camera 3 grid lines left to its previous position. And go back to the location section again and press, I, key to add another keyframe. Now make sure that the 3D cursor is still in the center. And press Shift plus A key and click on camera to add another camera. Just like before set all the rotation and location values of camera to 0. Next set X rotation value to minus 90 degrees, and Y rotation value to 180 degrees. Now move this camera 5 grid lines right to the center dragging this green arrow. Come down here and change the current frame value to 31. Next come over here to the location section and press, I, key to add a keyframe. Zoom out the view little bit so that you can see the green arrow clearly. Come down here and change the current frame to 60. Next move this camera 3 grid lines left from its previous position. Again go back to the location section and add another keyframe. Our animation is going to be 60 frames long so set the end frame value to 60. Now click this little icon to jump to the first frame. And if you click this play button, you can see that two cameras are facing the object from the front and back, also they are animating as per keyframes. Click on this pause icon to pause the animation. Next right click on this first camera and press Ctrl plus 0 keys to look through selected camera. As you can see that first camera facing the front face of object. You can play the animation clicking this play button down here to see how it looks only from the first camera. Press 0 to exit camera view. Now right click on this second camera and press Ctrl plus 0 keys to look through selected camera. You notice that the second camera is facing the back face of object. You can play the animation clicking this play button down here to see how it looks only from the second camera. And press 0 to exit camera view. Next come down here and expand this timeline section little bit. Now jump to the first frame clicking this button if it is not set already. Move your pointer to the timeline area and press M key to add a marker. Just after that press Ctrl plus M keys to rename the marker. And here type camera 1 and click OK. Now select the camera 1 right clicking on it, 
Come back to timeline area and press Ctrl plus B keys to bind the camera to the marker. Next set current frame value to 31. Move your pointer to the timeline area and press M key to add a marker. Just after that press Ctrl plus M keys to rename the marker. And here type camera 2 and click OK. Now select the camera 2 right clicking on it, come back to timeline area and press Ctrl plus B keys to bind the camera to the marker. Now in this first marker, camera 1 will be activated and from the second marker camera 2 will be activated. Now go to the first frame clicking this icon. Move your mouse to the 3D area and press 0 to activate camera view. And finally click on this play button. As you can clearly see that those cameras are switching exactly where they were bound. And this was a very short tutorial about switching between multiple cameras in Blender. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and leave a comment.